by giving condemnation authority to private companies? Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no, there's no opportunity, or no, there's no there's, case law? There's no case there's law. No, case law. Um, no one's tried to challenge it? No one has tried to challenge it, and my guess is that that sort of challenge would probably not be successful because Congress, in its infinite wisdom, has struck the balance by saying, and actually the, the authority to use eminent domain, um, allowing private actors to use that authority under the Natural Gas Act is actually something that came from the Energy Policy Act of 2005, I think. Um, and so it's actually sort of a recent change, which made a lot of people unhappy, and there is um, some sentiment in Congress that we should take a run at that issue and, and amend either the Natural Gas Act or the Energy Policy Act to prohibit private companies from using eminent domain, eminent domain in this way. Um, but that's an uphill battle. Um, and it's, it's very challenging because it's, it's a jobs issue. You know, we don't want to do anything that would harm jobs. And so if you know, big public construction projects, even though it's not really a public construction project, creates jobs, then it's a little bit more challenging um, to push back on that in Congress. But you know, as Bob mentioned, the, the private lands issue, I mean, private property rights is one of those sank for sank sort of things. And it's surprising to me that there hasn't been more of um, an upheaval in Congress to prohibit this sort of thing. Um, we can certainly do some more organizing on that front, but to date, there's there's not a lot of hope on the horizon. Did you say that the yeah. 2005 Energy Act codified the Natural Gas Act of 37 could be used for private companies? It, it changed, I believe it changed the actual, what the language in the statute. Yeah, but the, the act presumes that if the certificate is issued, it is automatically in the public interest, and therefore the right of eminent domain is granted. There is no distinction between import and export, which is where I think is is entirely entirely wrong. But in the you know current climate with uh, with jobs and so much uh, effort on the part of the energy companies to, to sell this thing, I mean there's obviously huge amounts of money to be made here. Uh, I just don't see a chance of uh, that getting changed in any time in the near future. Yeah. Also, I I don't know of any litigation about eminent domain under the Natural Gas Act, but there was a Supreme Court decision. 2005 about uh, eminent domain for redevelopment, like basically yeah. not like a shopping center, and the Supreme Court was totally fine with taking people's houses to put in a shopping center that was going to be part of a redevelopment project that increased like city tax revenues and things. Mm -hmm. So is that the one in Rhode Island? Or that was Kilo versus New London. Kilo Square. Um, yeah, that, that's what I was. It was northeast somewhere. Um, yeah, but they so, approved eminent yeah. domain. 